InstaSpin, expertise-enabled silicon for three-phase motor applications. InstaSpin is a family of solutions produced by Texas Instruments with our C2000 microcontroller family. I'd like to talk to you about two of these solutions today, InstaSpin FOC and InstaSpin Motion. InstaSpin FOC is our sensorless torque control solution. It uses a proprietary software sensor that we call FAST to estimate the flux, angle, speed, and torque of an electric three-phase machine. With this, we've been able to build up a complete sensorless field-oriented control solution that offers you the best in sensorless capability, the most flexible commutation, including sine wave, space vector, and trapezoidal, to produce an ideal torque control solution. And then in many applications, you may want to use that torque control to produce a very specific speed. So we offer a speed control solution with InstaSpin FOC. Sensorless field-oriented control is very challenging, and the estimators are based on uh, motor models. And so it's important with these motor models that you have an accurate understanding of the actual parameters of the motor. For motor parameter identification, this is included in InstaSpin FOC. This gives us the capability to offline do a very short test where we can identify the necessary components for our software sensor to work. For a synchronous machine like a brushless DC or a permanent magnet, we only require the stator resistance, the stator inductance, and the flux of the machine. And we can measure all three of these on a motor in under two minutes. Based on these parameters, we can autom also automatically set up the current control tuning so that it is ideally tuned for the bandwidth of your system. So within just a couple minutes, we have a fully tuned field-oriented control system that is extremely stable, runs off a sensorless operation, meaning no hall sensors, no encoders, no resolvers, and gives you extremely robust performance for torque control, and then can be uh, have a speed control loop added to give you good speed control performance. The next solution is InstaSpin Motion, and this builds directly on top of InstaSpin FOC, adding new components. These new components are called a SpinTac suite. The SpinTac suite has been licensed from a third party, and TI provides this in the entire InstaSpin solution. And what this helps you do is simplify the speed tuning process, so replacing a PI controller with a very robust, very simple to use uh, type of uh, controller that can do both velocity and position control. This gives you very rapid tuning and very, very high performance capability for controlling velocity and position control. This can be used sensorless for velocity control applications, but it's also being used uh, most heavily in censored applications where an encoder or resolver is being used for very accurate velocity or position control applications. So we can now provide ideal speed control, ideal position control, and the SpinTac suite includes on chip a full motion or trajectory generation for different movements, as well as a very simple to use state machine plan. This allows you to build an entire motion control system very quickly with the embedded software and release a product very rapidly. Let's look into details about both of these solutions. So the reason that we have made these InstaSpin solutions is because what we saw in the market was that there were limited experts who really knew what it took to do sensorless algorithms, to do control systems, and to do very complex motion systems. And these typically fell in the application spaces of industrial drives, servo systems, some transportation guys who were doing very cutting edge things, whether in power steering, traction control, um, or certain new electric pumps, and then some of the people in what we call H HVAC or air conditioning who are really driving efficiency gains in compressor technology. What we wanted to do was to take this capability that these experts are able to produce for their products and enable everybody else who's doing motor control. And some of the places where this can be most applicable and where we see the biggest benefit and need are further in the transportation space, whether that be actual highway vehicles or off-highway construction and forestry, or even things down to e-bikes and scooters. 
Um, these include not only the traction types of drives, but auxiliary motors, pumps, fans, uh, compressors, etc. There's also a demand for this in things like washing, where you want to see a fully sensorless washing machine, uh, both direct drive and belt driven systems, as well as compression systems for refrigeration, for air conditioning, and a wide variety of pumps, fans, and tools, both in the industrial and in the consumer space. And of course, there's many, many more. We see so many applications uh, that we don't list on a slide like this that people are using InstaSpin for to make their products better, higher performance, uh, and get them to market much quicker. So let's look at InstaSpin FOC. Again, this is our sensorless torque control system that can be used to control a certain speed. This uses our sensorless observer that we call FAST. FAST works with all key three-phase motor types. This means brushless DC motors, permanent magnet motors, AC induction motors, interior permanent magnet motors. So basically, if it's a three-phase machine, our FAST software sensor can track the key um, elements that we would need to use in a control system. We offer the capability to identify the parameters of the motor um, using a very short offline test. Again, for a synchronous motor, this is uh, simply the stator resistance, inductance, and the machine flux. And for an induction motor, uh, we add the uh, magnetizing current and the rotor resistance. And based on these parameters that we've now identified of the machine, we can set up our software observer to give us good estimates of the machine's rotor flux, angle, speed, and torque. We use these parameters to set up a stable field-oriented control system. The field-oriented control system is where we are maximizing the torque production and minimizing the current usage by controlling what is called the IQ and ID elements of the current. We have set this up very stably so that just based off of the motor parameters, we can automatically tune these IQ and ID controls, their PI controllers, so that automatically you have a stable current control, torque control system. And we're able to modulate the proper waveform onto the three-phase inverter, and we can do this in sine, uh, pure sine wave, a space vector generated uh, a modulated sine wave, which gives us additional voltage, which can allow the motor to go even faster, all the way up into what we call a pure trapezoidal uh, type of waveform, which maximizes the bus voltage and gets us the maximum speeds possible. Now, these parameters that are so important to these observers can change in the system. As a motor heats up, the resistance is going to change. So as you use more current to drive more load, the resistance can change. And we have invented the capability to track this state of resistance online, meaning while the motor is working, while it's being driven by the control system, we can actually track these changes. And this is really critical in a sensorless control system to be able to do this. Because if these parameters change and you're not tracking them, your estimates will be incorrect, the control system will drift and could become an, uh, unstable. We're also monitoring the flux of the, the machine at all times, so this allows for a very stable flux or field control to make sure that we're operating at the most uh, optimum points. So we can use this information from the flux to very easily do extremely stable field weakening and, and even field boosting for an induction machine. Field weakening is where we actually uh, use some current to uh, slightly deflux or demagnetize the machine, allowing us to go faster than the rated design. And this is often used in applications where you need to drive a heavy load, but there are small amounts of times where you need to go much, much faster uh, with a smaller load. A good example of this is a washing machine, which needs to move a lot of load at low speeds for agitation, uh, but needs to move a smaller load without the water um, at much, much higher speeds during the spin cycle. We have a special mode, and this is just for induction motors, called Power Warp, which is going to give you some massive energy savings, and I'll talk about this on one of the next slides. And again, oftentimes in a torque control application, um, we'll be controlling the torque and controlling the current usage for optimum, you know, maximum torque per minimum amp, but we may be wanting the motor to actually run at very specific speeds. So with InstaSpin FOC, we offer a very simple 
PI speed controller. Um, and this is user tuned. We give you a starting point, but you need to walk through the process of checking this with your motor and tuning this to your system requirements, the dynamic needs of the system. How we deliver this solution is that all of the software is given to you and a portion of it, everything in the red boxes, is actually a very proprietary library that we put on chip into the read-only memory of certain Piccolo devices. And these are our 32-bit microcontrollers for motor control, power electronics, real-time control. All of the rest of the software is open source. All of the source code is available. But we give you the project so they're completely built up and ready to run instantly out of the box. So you have the capability, if you have a low amount of expertise, to use everything just like we've given it to you. If you have a high amount of expertise and want to change the control system, you can simply use um, the feedback from our, our fast observer as a sensor and write your own control system to drive the motor in any way that you want to. Again, FAST is giving you flux, angle, speed, and torque. The flux is monitored in real time for very high stability. The angle that we're able to estimate is absolutely the best from any sensorless uh, observer on the market over the widest range from full positive speed to full negative speed, um, accurate through zero speed, um, accurate from, from startup getting to uh, a location where it can have uh, a good speed feedback. Also very unique is that the speed estimate that we produce is independent of angle. We're not using the change in angle over time to produce a speed estimate because that produces and, and inserts what we call phase lag. So then your speed signal is based on old angle information and can become un, can make the, the entire control system unstable. We produce a speed signal estimate in parallel to our angle estimate so that we're getting matched speed with angle data and it works much more stable. Also unique with FAST is the capability to have an estimate of the torque. This is the real shaft torque that is being generated by the motor and it can be very useful uh, in monitoring torque applications and also useful um, for uh, producing algorithms that can be used to monitor and control flow rates and, and various um, um, other control methods depending on your application. The solution is extremely robust and stable. We have four quadrant operation, meaning both positive and negative speeds, both in motoring mode and in generating mode. And we show you how to do full load startups. We show you how to maximize the duty cycle, the voltage of the bus. And the estimator in the full control system is stable at zero speed and as you move through zero speed. I mentioned power warp. This is a special mode for induction motors. Induction motors, as the name implies, need a current to induce the rotor magnetic field. And in most uh, induction motor control, this current that's used to induce the magnetic field is kept constant all the time. So that is current and energy that you are just burning all the time to create a magnetic field. Well, what is that magnetic field used for? It's used to create torque. And you only need to create torque when you have the, a load that demands that much torque. So in most induction motors, if you're not running at full load, full speed, you're simply using more energy than is required to actually meet those torque demands. So part of our InstaSpin solution includes the capability to dynamically control this current that we're using to induce the rotor field. So we can adaptively make this as minimum as possible to keep the torque that is required for the load that is instantaneously on the shaft. And so what we've seen in real applications, and this is a field trial that's actually been running for over two years now, is that this power warp mode is able to save over 80% of the energy consumed by traditional uh, single phase triac type induction motors. And it saves nearly half the energy of what we can do with just running InstaSpin FOC. So just Turning on a flag for power warp immediately is saving 50% energy in these types of fan applications that have various dynamic loads. So that's InstaSpin FOC. As I said, InstaSpin Motion adds more components directly on top of InstaSpin FOC. And it is really the solution if you have a, a very demanding or dynamic velocity or position control application. 
So with velocity, you can do this sensorless, or in some cases, uh, you may want to use a sensor like an encoder or a resolver. And position control, you would always want to use a sensor uh, because it's going to give you the best precision at zero and very, very low and slow speeds. So there's four components to InstaSpin Motion in this SpinTac suite. These four components are identify, control, move, and plan. And we're going to look at those in some detail. So identify is very unique. It allows us to actually identify and measure the inertia and friction of the system. And this is important because inertia and friction are the components of the real mechanical system that we require knowledge of to be able to help automatically tune the velocity or position control loops. Just like for the current control, by understanding the resistance and inductance, the time constant, which are electrical characteristics of the motor, for a mechanical system, we need to know the inertia and friction. So a test, a measurement procedure, is built in to the InstaSpin Motion solution that does a very short acceleration test on the motor and can then have that inertia and friction value. We then use that in our tuning solution, which we call control. And what's very unique about this is it replaces PI or PID controls and only requires a single variable. So it makes it unbelievably easy to tune a system. By doing the inertia and friction test, you now have a single knob that you can turn soft and have a very soft response when your feedback doesn't match your reference, or you can turn it very stiff and have a very quick, uh, powerful response when your feedback doesn't match your reference. And this control is not only simpler, but much, much better and higher performance. So as an example for simplicity, here would be a position control system where you have a PI controller for position, a PI for velocity, and you may even have these as PID, which would take this from four variables up to six. And each of these has to be tuned independently kind of one at a time, a lot of trial and error, or a lot of using you know, simulation and hoping that your, your plant model and your, your load models are correct. With InstaSpin Motion, for example, if you're doing a position control system, both the position and velocity control are combined into a single control system that feeds a, a torque command, and that entire control system can be tuned by just a single variable. So you can think of it as a one loop, one variable, one gain type of uh, control solution and you add the fact that you now have real information about the inertia and friction of the system you get superior performance and rapid tuning of your control solution. Here's an example of the advantage that this can bring and is what we call disturbance rejection, the capability of the SpinTac controller to outperform a PI and PID controller. This is a position control application and what we're showing is holding a zero position and in the, the first graphs on the upper left, we are removing a load or a torque disturbance. And you can see that the red line is a PI control. So removing the load, the control system is still pushing too much torque. The, the shaft moves more before it can respond and settle back to its zero position. And you can see using the spin tack suite, it settles in half the time and has much, much, much less error. Similarly, on the bottom right, we are now applying a torque, so we have essentially no torque, holding zero position, and now we apply a load. And you can see with a PI controller, the shaft is disturbed much more and takes longer to recover. And with the SpinTac controller, it can recover and gives much better performance overall. The next components in the SpinTac suite are move and plan. So what we just did is, is show you how to identify the real me mechanical uh, pieces of your system for inertia and friction, how to tune rapidly a velocity or position control system, now you want to do something with it. And that's where move and plan comes in. So move gives you the capability to build trajectories, build motions. How do I go from one speed to another? Or how do I go from one position to another? And what are the different paths I can take to get there? And so we call these curves. So there are three curve types that are available, a standard trapezoidal or constant acceleration curve, um, a standard S curve, which um, limits the acceleration at the beginning and end of the profiles, but maximizes the acceleration in the middle, which is essentially this picture here, 
and then a proprietary ST curve for smoothest trajectory. This further limits the acceleration and it limits the jerk, which is the change in acceleration. So this gives you the ultimate in smooth starting and stopping capabilities for moving from one speed or one position to another. All of this, the move component, is all running on chip, meaning every time you make a movement from one velocity to another, one position to another, those calculations are happening in real time on the chip. So this is not a lookup table. This is not a logic control that is done on a PC and then downloaded. These are running on the microcontroller in real time every time you make a movement. This allows you to actually update and deploy new movements you know, in real time and directly onto the chip. And the final component is what we call plan. This is how we take all of these different movements in a system and turn it into a real application, whether that be something like a washing machine we're showing here or a vending machine. So anytime you want to string together a series of motions or movements combined with other interrupts or other timers, other things that must happen in your system to move from one state to another. So this is a very simple uh, state-based software that allows you to execute groups of movements into a single cohesive plan for a real application. So how do we deploy InstaSpin FOC and InstaSpin Motion? As I mentioned, these are all available based on a, a library that is put into on-chip ROM of very specific devices from Texas Instruments. And these are members of our C2000 Piccolo family. So InstaSpin Motion is available on two of these families, what we call our F2806X and our F2805X, and InstaSpin FOC, the subset, is available on the 6X, 5X, as well as the lowest cost, smallest package, what we call the F2802X. So you can see this is a range of, of microcontroller family. They're all compatible with each other. It allows you to migrate from 48 pins to 100 uh, with different amounts of megahertz, um, MIPS, flash, RAM, peripheral choices, etc. So an entire family of InstaSpin enabled microcontrollers for deeply embedded motor and motion solutions. To get started, we always want to give you a very nice reference design, um, at least for a range of applications. Of course, there's much higher voltage, higher power applications that are using InstaSpin, and there's actually even much, much smaller power applications using InstaSpin. But these kits give you a, a good base um, to, to get the needed voltage and current and have software projects running and instantly allow you to run your motor. For InstaSpin resources, I recommend that you go to our ti.com slash InstaSpin website. Here you'll find tabs with information on each of the InstaSpin solutions. You'll be able to look at all the tools that are available, including new ones that we'll be releasing shortly. Uh, links to get to support. We have an E to E community where you can ask questions and get answers. Links to all of our software downloads, all of our users guides, um, all of our um, GUIs and getting started kits. Everything is right here at ti.com slash instaspin. I thank you for your time and attention and have fun spinning your motors. <laughs>